friends, thanks for joining me today. Well, I'm feeling a little excited today because I got an Etsy order that I placed and I actually forgot what I ordered, but I know I must have loved it if I ordered it. And then I've had this envelope for a while and I haven't opened it. I think it's an Amazon. It is. Okay. So we have an Amazon haul. Yeah, I don't remember what's in that either. There's been a lot going on lately. You guys know Rosa with Sun and Moon Arts. If you don't, then go to my description box and check out her link. She's awesome and fun. So she had done a haul the other day and there was um, some music paper in it and also some pretty napkins that she found at an estate sale. And so I complimented her on that and I never can find music paper and so many people are fortunate enough to find music paper in their thrift halls or their estate sale halls or whatever. And I just, I just have bad luck. And what's funny about that is my daughter actually, um, <laughs> she plays music, she plays the flute. And, uh, but I can't take it from her room. It's, it's, <laughs> it's music that she uses. So um, at any rate, Rosa said, I will send you some. So I was like, okay, that's so nice. But she sent me this. I don't think this is just music in here and just a napkin. So um, it's basically an exploding envelope. So we will open that together today too. Okay, I opened my Amazon envelope and of course as soon as I opened it, I remembered what I ordered. I got some Duralar, which is the stuff that you use to make shake shaker things shaker cards so I hope I ordered the right one who knows I don't I don't know I'm <laughs> I'm just learning about all of so many of these things and so you know it, we're gonna give it a try because you know I got from Norma Lisa the misfit Florida crafter I got the die cut machine <laughs> and so so <laughs> She was so nice and she gave me the die cut machine and it had alphabet dies and number dies that came with it. She was so nice to give those to me. And one flower die. And so then, you know, I had purchased one die that I was going to put through the pasta maker. Um, but then that's, that's really all I had. <laughs> so, uh, and I had one little embossing thing. So I, I actually, I ordered... Um, a flamingo die because obviously you guys know I love flamingos. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show it to you. So here's the flamingo die, and I don't know if you can tell how small it is. And I really wanted to make a little flamingo shaker. I just don't think that's gonna happen. It's so tiny. And then I ordered this little bottle jar die, whatever, to make shakers, and it's tiny. Look at it. It can't be but two inches tall if that. So. I, I know I should probably try to make the shaker, and I will, but I just, I wanted it to be bigger because everybody makes such good shakers and then I'm gonna be having little tiny baby shakers. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for some bigger dyes. So anyway, that's my story on dyes. But the flower dye that Norma Lisa gave me works nice and then um, I the, the ones that I had bought at, um, I think it was Tuesday morning a while back, those actually work really nice and they're bigger, so that's kind of nice. I guess I could make a shaker with a big flower die. I'll have to think about that. I don't even know where to start with that. So anyway, uh, so I got the paper and then I ordered sequins because I want to make shakers. So I, and I didn't really have sequins. I had like the minimal, I think maybe one color, if that. There are so many colors. So I felt like I got a good deal on that just because it gave me a nice variety. Moving on to my little order from Etsy. So this Etsy store uh, is from a person who is in the UK. Comes in this nice little uh, pink paper. It's CRG Art Design. Honestly, for the life of me, I can't remember what I ordered. Okay, so under our pretty pink paper, we have some, oh, I remember now. I'm pulling this out, this stuff, you know, that was in there, so that was pretty. Ah, there's a little card that says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. 
Anna says, thank you so much for ordering from our shop. Your support means a lot to us, and we hope you love your new goodies. P.S. You're amazing. Ah, oh, isn't that so nice? Okay, I am going to... <laughs> I remember now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you a close-up. I saw these beautiful flower. These are paper flowers, and the colors are gorgeous, and they're tiny. I hope you can tell how small they are. Look, like, here's my hand, and then here they are. They're, they're just beautiful, so I ordered those. There's 24 of them in there. And then I shouldn't, I'm gonna have to hold this video back until I give this to my daughter because otherwise it's a spoiler. So they, she had this hamster eating a popcorn and my daughter loves both hamsters and popcorns. So I got that just for fun to give to her. And then this says I'm a bookworm and then it, it marks out the worm and says, I'm a book hamster. And I just know, whoops, there's a glare on that. I just know that my daughter will love it. So, so that's what I ordered from them. So I'm very happy with my order. I need to learn to make little tiny flowers like that. But you know, there's only so many hours in a day. And you know, I'm really enjoying making all the things that I already make. And that really is a problem for me that there are only 24 hours in a day and I have to sleep. So, you know, there's not enough time to create as far as I'm concerned. All right, let's get to the package that Rosa sent me. I am going to bring the camera over and give you a close up. Wow. <laughs> I'm so excited. My happy mail from Rosa, that is so nice. So let's take a look. Oh my goodness. Look you guys. Oh my gosh, and I think she freshly laundered it. Oh, it smells so good. And look, it's, it's embroidered strawberries. That's so sweet with scalloped edges. I love everything made from cotton, so that is lovely. Let me turn this so you can see it. There's two of them that she gave me. That is so nice. Look at that, I hope you can see it. I'll zoom in on it with my camera when I'm editing. So nice, thank you, Rose, it's beautiful. And they smell delightful, really delightful. I love your detergent, whatever it is that you use. Oh, she knows I love birds. Oh my goodness, look, she gave me a bird card. Ah, uh, it might be a woodpecker. I'm not sure, but anyway, it's beautiful. And I, she wrote me a note. I gotta look at the note. Hi, Jovi, sending my love. Thank you for everything. Love, Rosa. Ah, uh, that's so nice. Thank you, Rosa. <gasps> no. Look. Oh my goodness, I can't even. Sears and Roebuck. And there's a date. I just saw it before I flipped it over. Well, first, the price was $3.95. I swear I saw a date on here. Let's see. Oh, it's $1,900. <laughs> okay. Consumer Guide Fall of 1900. Oh my goodness. Banjos. Oh my gosh. Violins. Oh, this is cool. I can't even stand it. I know that I'm supposed to take this apart and use it, and that is exactly what I want to do, but yet it's exactly what I don't want to do because look at it. It's, I mean, you just can't find these anymore. Rosa, thank you. I'm gonna be looking at every single page and just taking it all in. Okay, this is a piece of wallpaper and I love it because it's like embossed. So it's very, very cool. I, I could have some fun with that. And you know what springs to mind immediately um, is because it's embossed, actually I could um, use it to stamp onto something maybe. It's worth the experiment. So that's pretty cool. Then, oh wow, postcards. Very nice. Oh, it's like a little postcard card book. Oh, how cool. Oh, this is great. Oh, look at that. Oh, these are lovely. I have a piece of vintage um, scarf. It's actually ripped, but it's vintage. And it has 
this very similar theme and I maybe could marry the two at, at, um, in the future doing a project. What do we have here? Old time travel posters and luggage labels. What? Royalty free designs? Well, Rosa, let me just tell you that this is freaking awesome. And I'm sure that you knew that and you were probably giddy sliding it into the envelope for me knowing that I would have a reaction like this. Look at this. Look, we, oh my gosh, I, I can't even, this is, I love it. I just love it. I can't even begin to express fully how much I'm crazy about it. Thank you so much. I know people don't want to leaf through every page with me, but I'm mesmerized by it. Oh, look, I got some more of the wallpaper. I wish you guys could feel it. It has such a good texture feeling. Now, what do we have here? Distinctive gift wrap, I'll say. Oh yes, it's vintage, I'm sure of it. Oh yeah, it was only 79 cents. And look at the color. Oh, I love it. I, I, I love it. I don't know how Rosa knows me so well to know that I'm gonna love certain things so much. Ooh. Oh, this is fun. I'll have total fun with this. I don't actually have this. The only two sheets were in that paper pack that I showed a little while back, but this is like the real deal. Very, very excited about that. Oh, what do we, oh no, umbrellas. Pink umbrellas with polka dots on them. I am in love with this pattern. Uh, it's, and this was, okay, so this was, um, 89 cents for two sheets of wrapping paper. Oh look, more, uh, there's more paper. There, uh, what is this called? There is more of this paper. I'll have a field day with this. You know, this has an interesting feeling. It's like thin and crispy. I like it. I like it. That's cool. Then we have lemon drops and lollipops. Okay, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, okay, this is gonna be good. Oh look, look at these, pa oh, this is, that's fun. Oh, that's fun, I have an idea already. I'm not even gonna say what it is out loud uh, because I would rather just do it. And, oh yeah, uh-huh. Okay, this is good. <laughs> I already know what is gonna be happening with this right here. That's awesome and fun. And I won't be doing cross stitching, but I will be playing with those papers. And then here we have another one. And this is uh, $2.95 and it is dated April, May 1989. How fun, oh yeah, is that? And look at the color pictures. Oh yes, I love it. Ooh, this is really pretty, fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be so, so, Fun. Oh my gosh, and here is the song. I can't believe she sent me the whole thing. Holy cow. You guys, look at the size of this thing, first of all. It was $2.50. 1960, copyright. That's awesome, look. I never find music paper. I know I told you that already. But look, it's a book full of it. So this is just wonderful. I, I can't thank you enough, Rosa. So wonderful. I am over the moon about all of my goodies, especially my goodies from Rosa at Sun and Moon Arts. And so before I go, I'm gonna give you a quick update. So there's a tropical storm brewing and I feel like I have you know everything I need. Tropical storm shouldn't be too big of a deal, um, but I'll be keeping an eye on it. But I have water and food and all the essentials so I'm not gonna board up my windows or anything like that um, but it's that time of year that I will need to be prepared to put my shutters up because you know from here on until you know after the first week of October we'll probably be pretty busy when it comes to hurricanes which I don't like it it stresses me out um, you know I'm hoping one day 
that once my husband retires that at least during hurricane season we could leave the state of Florida because I totally just gives me so much anxiety. And another update I wanted to give you guys is that um, I'll be going back to work next week and I am not really looking forward to that. I have had so much fun, you know, being able to create and make my videos and open my shop and all that good stuff. I still will do all of that, but I won't have as much time as I had before. So um, it's just been really great to be able to, you know, grow in the YouTube community and be able to kind of be relaxed about it. And I, you know, I would like to continue to be relaxed about it. But you know, when you're working and you're juggling, it just, I don't know, just, you know, work can just add a little bit of stress to one's life. And actually, my job is very easy and it's not too stressful. The only thing stressful about my work is um, my working environment and, and not the people in my environment, just my environment. So that's my little updates for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul and my happy mail. Thanks for watching. See you soon.